right, you guys ready? Yeah. You guys, you guys ready? All right. Welcome to another episode of the Inkbox Podcast. Finally get some of you guys off my back. I finally actually met Venomous Pinks. We got Venomous Pinks on today. We're going to go ahead and start the show now. Yeah, yeah that's that, legit. Uh, wow. that's, yeah. that's supposed to be like, this, you legit. fucked it up already, Steve. What did I fuck up? There's supposed to be like an applause, push the applause button. Hit it. Yeah, reach it. Hold on. Yeah, reach it. You got to. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, there's a 30 second delay on the crowd. But like I said before, uh, I got Steve here again. Adam's still out. We're going to talk to him a little bit later today. But I finally got the Venomous Pinks here. What's, I got, what's up, y'all? I got, how you Gabby. doing? Gabby. Gabby Chaos. Gabby Chaos. Drea. Drea, just Drea. Is it like it's like yeah, Cher? I just want to go by Drea now. It's the, <laughs> Drea, like it. strap the doll. Like Madonna. It's like Cher. I like it. I dig it. <laughs> just Drea. It's Drea now. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have been like crazy, crazy busy. Yeah, we're pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I've noticed it. You guys are like the most docile people to show up to the. We're so wild. The, yeah. yeah, it's. They showed up here with some fucking white wine. Yeah, that's, it's fancy. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> we can't do fart jokes today because we're drinking wine. <laughs> yeah. So we're the you, most mild yeah. band. Well, now we are. The most we, we yeah. were We weren't before, but no. now it's just we're old. You're old? We're older. Yeah. How, older. Uh, how old are you? 32. Okay, I'm older. <laughs> Fuck, I was hoping. <laughs> God damn it. You want to hear how old Steve yeah, is? I'm guess guess, guess how old Steve is. 40. 40. Yeah, 40. Yeah. Are you? No, 48. No. 48. <laughs> Yeah, coming this up dude ages like, ages like a fine wine. I'm over here aging like fucking milk. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, how long have you guys been a band? Hmm. Ten. Well, loaded question. Yeah, we've been together for ten years. Mm -hmm. This is my longest relationship. Same. Yeah. Gabby yeah. Chaos. Yeah. 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 Same. You know too much, so we no, can't break up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That makes sense. Ten years is a long time. Like I, uh, gas station pizza. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do you? <laughs> no. You know too much. Oh, I don't know if you if you like gas station pizza or not. If I mean, she was really hungry, yeah, she probably would. I would, but then I, it wouldn't end well. I think the worst thing yeah. I've seen you eat is that hot dog in France. You got, you got a treasure trove of things to that, talk about with this band. Usually terrible. I've just got terrible. locals on that haven't been to France. American hot dog in France. Somewhere yeah. in the middle of fucking France at this gas station. And it was a weird sausage, like inside a middle of a big bun that doesn't look like bread but i was so fucking hungry and wanting some meat because you can't find meat you can't there. find meat anywhere in europe it's weird yeah. i'm like oh american I'm hot like, dog oh, what's it's... he healthy and shit i'm like what <laughs> yeah i took two bites and then i shoved it in the compartment it what's the best food you had in france in France, nothing. Not the hot dog you didn't eat no. anything in france it wasn't the hot dog no. it wasn't the hot dog no. that hot dog sounded fucking lit mm. yeah. what do they call uh french fries in france Fries. Bis biscuits? Fries. No, <laughs> chips. No, that's no. a that's a uh, UK. Yeah. Actually, chips. you know what? I'm thinking at this table. I'm like the least traveled person here. Like, haven't left the states yet. You've been in the fucking UK. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, you guys recently got done with tour, or was a was a, because uh, uh, you guys were on tour when we were in Austin. I remember that what was the uh, last date of that tour. Last date, I have no. Yeah, no idea. But it was in August. <laughs> it was in August. <laughs> Time so, and days don't exist for yeah. us anymore. It's you get, just you guys know you get sucked yeah. into the warp hole and you're like, what's mm -hmm. today? Yeah, I mean, where our, are we going? Our tour was like tiny mini and like pretty Adam, chill. Like yeah. Adam messed it up. Uh, it's just <laughs> Damn it, Adam. Cities. Fucking Adam. Uh, Damn. Adam. How many? How many cities did you guys play with Goldfinger? None. Uh, no, yeah, we've never. Played it wasn't Goldfinger. Goldfinger. You, you try that again. I know what you're thinking. You think it's so, freaking less than Jake. God dang it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no. I, yeah, the, was, the other homies are playing with yeah. Goldfinger. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong homies. Sorry, there you go. Up. Sorry. Yeah. Um, it's like two weeks. Less than Jake. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. That was fun though. Yeah. We were Super so nice jet lagged. Too. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Did they did they let you guys hang out on their bus or are you stuck in your van? Oh no, we made it up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, they night, were cool. Night one. They had a pretty serious bus. Uh, yeah. Plus, like a huge trailer behind it. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah the best thing I could take from that because uh, you guys were playing at the Mohawk, and I was like, "Oh, let's go check them out." And like, it didn't feel like waiting. But there's that fucking shawarma place right across the street from the Mohawk, which like, dude, I'll quit music and just go and just fly to Austin to eat that fucking place. It was yeah. so fucking good. Right. Yeah, 
<laughs> we should sure. we should go on a vacation. Check if you're in Austin. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't know the name. Just go to the Mohawk and walk around the shawarma around there. <laughs> what was your what what was your favorite uh, venue that you played on that tour? Hmm. Also, was it hot as shit on that outside stage? It was. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. was. It was. It was. But it was one of the coolest places yeah. we played. Yeah. Yeah, because it's all like it was like tri level. Yeah. Right. So and there was it was packed on like every level. Nice. Yeah, we oh, saw so like I mean, we saw it from outside. Justin yeah. forgot his ID. Uh, um, Justin. <laughs> all right, so Adam didn't fuck it up. I fucked it up. <laughs> but it looked cool. Um, sounded yeah. really good from outside. That was my that was my call to like because uh, the entire time we were gone, I drink I drink like every night and then. That was my call. Like that was my like. Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop drinking forever now. <laughs> like fucking, I forgot to pour my fucking mocktail. But yeah, I forgot my ID, which probably was a good thing that night. I don't know. Yeah. Fucking. Ah, but you guys come. You guys come from. Uh, you guys come from the Freenet scene. Uh, so questions that like I wanted to know because like mm-hmm. uh, I'm I'm still kind of new here, and the scene I know now is is super dope. Like all the bands. I don't. I don't know any beefs or anything like that. Apparently, except, that wasn't the case. Except fuck thrash can. Except fuck thrash can. <laughs> <clears throat> also, I'm not gonna say his name. I'm not gonna dignify it with him. Mm-hmm. You guys know, <clears throat> but I want to hear stories about like that. Like, well, um, when you guys like first started playing, what were like uh, your favorite like venues to play or bands to play with? Like, well, back in my day, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're talking 20 years ago, uh, and the ch- scenes changed a lot. Um, one of our most you know well-known clubs back then was called Jugheads, and it was infamous for Sid to book at least ten bands on a fucking night every, <laughs> like, every <laughs> night. Um, but that was one of the first places I ever played. I was probably eighteen or nineteen, and there I was, this little kid playing Jugheads with all these older with nine other bands getting that three do- other, getting yeah. that three dollars yeah. after just, everything split between yeah. all the bands, yeah. fucking two fifty. And this, you know, I was, we were so naive at the time. Like, I guess you got paid at then. And that was something we didn't realize for like four years. So like yeah. we were just fucking playing shows everywhere. So Jugheads, Big Fish Pub, uh, the clubhouse, super DIY venue called The Fix, which was in downtown oh, Phoenix. Yeah. I loved that place. Hmm. The Paper Heart Gallery, the Emerald Lounge. Um, Where else? Hmm. Yucca, all, which yeah. is Yucca's yeah. always been around. It's just yeah. been one of those things. Uh, I miss the clubhouse. The clubhouse yeah. was yeah, <laughs> that was a cool place. <laughs> so I've been to Jugheads like one time um, when I first moved here. That place is cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had my 18th birthday at Jugheads. Yeah, yeah, and at, like same when I was 16, I used to hang out, but they let me hang out by the door, and then like before I played. That's pretty much where I spent all of 16, 17, 18. Nice at Jugheads. And, yeah, because I live like. <laughs> South Scottsdale, so yeah. it was like right there, and yeah, I had my 18th birthday there. Gabby Palusa won. They let you in, or did you have to hang out in the parking lot? Was no, that, they let me. Was in. that the only Gabby Palusa, <laughs> or have there been? Uh, I've had five. There's, There's been five. five. Yeah. Five right, so you're so you're six years old now. Yes. Oh, getting ready to turn six. Got it. <laughs> and I had my 21st at Big Fish Pub. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. That was fun. Did you ever get to be in <laughs> like an underage musician? Yeah, yeah, uh, briefly. Because that, mean, that shows, we, I remember was, back in the day, there was this place back home called the Fat Cat. And I like the first band I got in, I was 14 and, uh, we used to play there. Um, but they would have us fucking, we had to wait out, like right out. We had to wait outside <laughs> until it was our turn to play. And then we'd get escorted yeah. on to play and then fucking escorted right off. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, so like, yeah. and then like everybody else is talking about, they get drink tickets. I'm like, we just don't get shit. <laughs> uh, so I grew up in Houston and I feel like all of the punk rock venues <laughs> were all ages. And so, yeah, we. Hmm. What do we got all ages here? Uh, trunk space. Trunk space. Uh, Nile yeah. Underground. That's the only thing yeah. I can think of. I think there's one other place that I heard about recently. Yeah, I haven't. There was huh. something going on. I don't remember what it was, but I felt like all ages. Rebel shows will are there. Pub Rock will have all ages too, yeah. but it's like hit or miss. Oh, yeah. I've only been to Pub Rock like fucking once. Like I haven't played oh. there yet. Like should have seen it back in the day. Was it back in his back, back in, in the day? Back, it was called back, Chasers. Back, 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 <laughs> back, back, too, bro. Back in the day. <laughs> Gabby Palooza too at Chase, yeah, Chasers. Sorry, yeah. yeah, back at Gabby Palooza. <laughs> yeah, it was Chasers. It used to be like where all the rockabilly and psychabilly kids used to hang out. Oh, nice. And like I used to live like around the corner, so I did go through a psychabilly phase. Uh, that was fun. Mm. Yeah. Fucking uh, yeah. another thing. Like I can't find out here since I moved here. I can't find any. Like uh, there's two ska bands I know of. I fucking love ska. There's like no ska scene here. We got one of them. Swig Stedman and. Uh, well, the other one's not even from here. It's Swigfoot from uh, fucking uh, Tucson. Tucson? Yeah. yeah. 
Tucson. They're, they're, they're dope. They're awesome. Yeah. yeah. I played with them like two months ago. Yeah. Or something. But like those are the only two ska bands I've seen. I guess without a doubt, kind of, because they cover no doubt. But Yeah. I mean, it's guys. But there's that. But give me a, give me, give me some kind of, give me some kind of cool, some kooky story from back in, just back in, back in the day. Go back to Gabby Palooza one. God. I want to hear about bands and people I don't fucking know at all. Bands back in the day, shit. You, you miss yeah, like Broloaf. Yeah. Oh no, no. Their, So I, I got here for the was... tail end of Broloaf. Okay. So I like, so yeah. I moved here in 2019 with my wife and then we, then she divorced me. So, but, but, uh, Right before, like, I was only here for, like, a small window, but I saw Broloaf and fucking Pinata Protest. Oh, shit. Sure. Pinata yeah. Protest immediately became my favorite fucking band on the planet, that show. But, yeah, I saw Broloaf a little bit. Well, the last time I saw Broloaf, <laughs> uh, got super shit-faced. Uh, we ended up at a Filiberto's drive through Sounds about right. Instead of opening the door to throw up. No, I threw up right in the he car. He threw up? Oh, in the car. I thought you meant in Fro- Filiberto. No, I was like, in the car. There. And then when I got home at that time, uh, my ex went to clean the car, and I took the burrito and went inside and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, nice. that was the last time I saw Brolo. <laughs> These wild and kooky stories with venomous pinks. <laughs> Throwing up, so eating a, burritos. Yes. What's I mean, a Phoenix band that doesn't exist anymore that you guys missed that you thought were really good? Um... They're, that kind of came back again, but they were gone for so fucking long. They used to be called the Heartless. They were fucking amazing. Like they still are, but like back then they were like they were playing marquee size venues, and then nice. they were like, "See ya, <laughs> later." And Northside Kings, yeah, yeah. Northside, Northside Kings. Kings. Bring yeah. your own weapon. Westcott Avenue. They, used, they were like a pop punk. Westcott Avenue uh-huh. sounds that yeah. sounds familiar, but it might just arbitrarily sound familiar. Yeah, I, I, uh, I feel like when I moved here, like I was, you know, it's kind of just dumb with music and like I wasn't going to shows very often um, but I would say my two would be uh, Move Valia and uh, Lightspeed Go I thought oh, yeah. those bands were yeah. fucking Shout out to Rico yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking, Paul yeah like when I when I moved here like I wasn't gonna play music either cause like back in California like I'd already done a bunch of stuff like with the band I was in for like 10 years mm. and then I moved here I dropped everything in California so when I got here I was like ah, I'm not gonna do that redo that again and shit and then I met Steve and now I'm, kind of now I'm, it. now I'm like, you, you, fucking, I knew it was going to be a matter of time before I was divorced and hosting a podcast. <laughs> like, yeah. like, those are just inevitable I things. Have, yeah, like, I have that effect on people. Yeah. So. <laughs> For any married folk out there. Just yeah, don't, don't, hang out don't fucking hang out with Steve. We'll start a band. It's going to be awesome. Just hit me up. <laughs> and what about, <laughs> what about you, Just Drea? Bands? Yeah, no, band stories. Like, I'm talking oh, like, like old times. <laughs> we, want some, we want some anecdotes. <laughs> what are we talking about? That was a plug, yes. Um, oh, I have I'm sure story. more will come up. I'm trying to dig through the old files in my head. I honestly, I, I back in the day, I used to drink so much Jaeger with, I used to be playing the Dames in this <laughs> band called Midal. Uh, it's totally depleted, like, that part of my life. Mm-hmm. And it's sad, but so I even tell these guys, I'm like, I. I can't really tell you what happened. I can tell you like part of the story. Those are uh, the best stories. <laughs> Cliffhangers. It was kind of there. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know when I was like about 22, we used to have house shows and this first house I, I moved into and the, the guy that owned it, he had a band called Janitors of Anarchy. So JOA. So we, and he had like a rad practice space. So we'd have like a lot of house shows there. And um, one of the times it was actually my birthday and um, I played a show. My little might all band played the show or whatever. And I got shit faced. I got so drunk, I ended up like puking on my roommate's dog, like outside somewhere. On the I just, dog, I, know, I puked on the dog, right? And so, back in the day, AZ Punk was very like when it was alive. The message board was like the community that like how we all found each other was through this message board, azpunk.com. And so they used to have, um, you know how like Yucca will have like the Halloween cover band. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before that, they had what was called like. Thrash of the Titans, and it was the same fucking thing, but you would, like, draw your name from a hat, and that was the fucking band you were in. And so... Uh, that's pretty fucking rad. It was, it was really cool, because you got like to play with better. other musicians, yeah. and, like, you had to come up with originals, and, like, then you put on, they put on a show, and at the end of it, somebody would win. And so that was what, uh, another time, was, like, I got... Um, somebody, like, handed me... JR, actually, from, from uh, Broloaf. Bro Handed me a shot of Goldschläger. He's showing up a lot like, in these stories. I'm sure he, he's been around. He's older than me, so if you really want like some fucking old story, bring him yeah. up because he's like, he's yeah. He out parties. Next five episodes everybody. are just going to be yeah. old school. Just bring Phoenix Jr. Yeah. Every yeah. episode. Yeah. Every episode. Got it. 
So yeah, anyway, handing me Goldschläger, he's like, here you go. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I do it outside in the park of the Hollywood Alley, which was another mm. really rad music venue that's no longer here. Um, I think I'm like maybe like 22 or 21 at the time. Do the shooter, fucking puke all over somebody's tire on the on um, outside. I'm like, fuck, I got to play right now. And it's like, <laughs> so I did. I just went on stage, played the show, but it was cool. I don't know. That's yeah. awesome. One of the drunkest I ever got a show, like fucking like in the middle of like a fucking like guitar solo I had I go like I was drunk and I could barely fucking walk straight and I go to just take a step to the side and I fell on my back and I kept playing right and then like so I don't remember it but there's a video of it like I stood up and I uh, no, yeah me laying on the floor I finished the song and then like drunk me like I love me for this so much because I got up and I, I quoted back to the future like I got up and I was like oh I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet <laughs> but your kids are gonna love it <laughs> don't remember that but I love shout out drunk Justin yeah <laughs> R.I.P. Drunk Justin Yep. Yeah. No, there used to be really a, this them. band called the Horchatas. Now that you guys got me thinking, the Horchatas, That's and their whole shtick was That's like about just being naked on stage. And my friend Richie, who was the guitar player singer, he used to like bend over, and his wife would like put a Snickers up his ass. Like they were total like <laughs> shock punk rock. These were just yucca, yucca, to, like, <laughs> show um, yucca like this. Probably yeah. they probably did play the yucca, but like yeah. they were super DIY too. So we were playing like house parties with them all the time, and um, they used to have this thing called the Wheel of Porn. And their drummer, he used to be a welder. So what it was was like this huge penis size shape looking thing. You'd get on it, you get strapped in, and then they would fucking spin you on it during their fucking show. And like just, yeah, it was a total chaos, total panic. I remember like one time we played with them at some fucking bar on the west side. And um, like I said, their whole shtick was like candy and cupcakes. And I just remember falling on my ass because there was like <laughs> cupcake everywhere on the ground. And like, just, you know, still playing. So like, yeah, we just used to do like, crazy shit like that like all the time yeah <laughs> <laughs> see Dude, i remember that story we're fucking up we don't have a penis wheel at our fucking I know. at our show it was so cool wheel either. yeah now here we are drinking <clears throat> wine here we are drinking wine reminiscing <laughs> <laughs> with gabby chaos and just Drea. just right now like madonna is it I'm, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna save you my context because just Drea. it's never gonna be like i'm, just, I'm never gonna call you just Drea. Drea. just Drea. Yeah. yeah so I've, <laughs> I've got fucking my favorite speaking of weird number i've got a number in my phone right now <laughs> <laughs> this is the night I met in. Yeah, this was the night you met in. I got drunk as fuck, and apparently I flirted with a girl and got her number. And uh, so I always put people's first and last names on my phone, and like I never, like I never called her or anything. But I put everybody's first and last names on my phone. But that contact says Mia. Just, just put, put Mia. Mia. <laughs> so I'm assuming I got her number, and she's like, "My name's Mia," and I was like, "What's your last name?" And she's like, "Mia, just put Mia." <laughs> But I didn't find this for like two weeks after. I was like, who the fuck is Mia just put Mia? <laughs> if you're listening to me, I'm sorry. Uh, it's so probably, probably the, good you didn't hang out with me. Anyway. The greatest thing about that story. Uh, so like I dropped Justin off here. Um, and then I, I went out and um, he ended up like leaving. Like sometimes he was like just blackout drunk. So he leaves sometime like after 2 a.m. And ends up hanging out with people i'm like well, like where the fuck did you go like that like there's not a whole lot around here somehow this guy just wanders off and meets people and meets mia um and has this time of his life calls his girlfriend at like four o'clock in the morning and he's like i don't know where i'm at i because like, i drunk out because it was my birthday like i'm glad you met ann but it was my birthday we we're supposed to be out for my birthday he sees this cute girl he's like I'm gonna bail on you for to go. I was like, it's my fucking birthday. He told me to. I, was gonna, <laughs> I, was I don't remember saying that, that, but I know I drunk. Like, like, yeah. no, I, I drunkly like, called him like three out. times. I was like, I hope you're having a good time on my birthday. You fucking like. Yeah, no. You you're like, it. I am. Yeah, Bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See you. Exactly. <clears throat> <clears throat> I, did, I like. I still. I've thought about that, and like, I have no idea how you just <laughs> ran into people. I don't in remember North anybody Phoenix like at three o'clock in the morning. All right. So what about? Let's see. We we did old school stuff. Uh, fun stories from tour that you're allowed to tell. Hmm. Do you guys do you guys get wild? Or are you like, because me, like, after I play a show, I don't want to go do the party drink thing. I want to just go watch Netflix and fall asleep. We do that a lot. Yeah. 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 You know, because you're working and um, who wants to feel like shit the next day when yeah. you got to do the same thing over again? You so hear that? We've really, like, have calmed it down a lot. But yeah. Friday, Saturday nights, I'm like, all right, it's Friday. Like, I'm getting wild. You got to do something. Like Friday. Yeah. I'm getting a little buzzed. Yeah, um, I, I feel like you at least need to have like one show on tour where you're like, fuck it, this is my show where I'm going to go get sloppy. So, yeah, I'm that was me in LA with Les and Jake. Yeah. I was like, that one show I like let loose. And she was like, dude, you were on one. Yeah. I was like, what do you mean? 
It's like you had your cup and like you, I guess you fucking dropped it all over the stage. Yeah, and first I was like, dropped it. Dude, you gotta fucking love those yeah. shows where like you're playing, you watch the video the next day. You're standing there. You, you think you had a great time, you watch the video the next day, your guitar wasn't tuned the entire show. You didn't do anything yeah. about it. You're like, man, like, I killed. Because like our. <clears throat> Adam's birthday show. <clears throat> our, sloppy, oh, our sloppy night on tour was the one. I, yeah. Have you played Kick Puck Coffee before? In Austin? Not yet. We're about to. So they uh, they record, they live stream all their sets. And Shit. unfortunately, my one slosh drunk night was the one that was recorded at fucking <laughs> Kick Butt Coffee. So we're watching the video. It's like, I'm sl- like singing in the microphone. Like you couldn't understand what I was saying. I was talking like a drunk. I was like, ah. Yeah. Justin's like normally like very, very, uh, he enunciates very well. Not that night. <laughs> yeah. Like that I'm, night I'm listening to it. And... I also don't know what a key is. Yeah. So. Like, what the fuck is Justin even saying? But that place yeah. is awesome. Like that, that yeah. By far when, when you guys go, like, tell me so what's up. Yeah. Um, like seriously, um, when it comes to like the staff, like the staff yeah. is amazing. The bands they have come through is amazing. Hmm. Like the staff is like that's the best. Th- I don't think I've ever played a show where I like the staff that much. It's a great place. Yeah, they're yeah, gonna we, live stream your shit, a, so don't get too fucked up for it. No, we we have a rule. We don't we don't get fucked up before the show anymore. Yeah, because we used to. Yeah, we. Used I to. now we have used a rule. To. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But we now, had, now we don't. Now it's after. We had to have a little come to Jesus. <laughs> the you know? Yeah. Last show in LA after she spills her drink, she goes and gets another one, drinks it, just looks at us and just like, no, you look at me. Yeah. <laughs> you just <laughs> drop the cup and it just goes. I was on one. <laughs> yeah. That was my one night on that away tour. While yeah. they're still playing. I'm like, okay, I don't know what you're doing. but I feel like our sloppiest show was uh, <laughs> Adam's. Uh, we did a show for his 40th birthday. At the Beast. At the Beast. And, um, he got wasted, and and so we have it all on video. At su- at one point, like he just starts acting like a like a fucking drunk rock star <laughs> asshole, <laughs> and uh, he was like terribly embarrassed about it. And it's so, like afterwards, like on the podcast, he's like, he's like, I feel like you get one yeah. show where you can where act you can like, be a, a, like a and, and it's your fortieth birthday. Yeah, it's your fortieth yeah. birthday show. But he like kicked the mic stand down. He uh, punted a pint glass. Uh, it, it was like crowd. bizarre, and we're like, "What the fuck?" But I've never seen him act like that. I was yeah. like, "Man, he's turning forty. Let this man have his existential yeah. crisis, yeah. man." <laughs> like, <laughs> I miss you, Adam. I mean, I, I mean, we're gonna call him eventually. We are. Um, so, you guys, uh, total DIY the Europe tour. This this last time we yeah. had some help with a okay. uh, uh, bad cops booking agent. Um, yeah. So that was nice. But the first time we went out there was. DIY. Everything you could do wrong in Europe for your own tour, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're, um, we're gonna have to exchange notes. So that yeah, we yeah. Not we're do. great at doing things wrong yeah. the first time. Yeah. So, but it was a good learning experience. So yeah, the I second bet. time we went out, I felt way more comfortable and like I think I know what I'm doing this time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the first time we went out there, I was just kind of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like our driver was tired the first day. Yeah. Like. That's his job to drive. He's like, I'm tired. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, dude, you just got you here. You have like, one job. Yeah, it's like we've been traveling for like two fucking days. And right, like, we're all jet lagged. Yeah. Jet lag. And the first, what, what was it, like 12 hours we had to drive from we France had to, to Austria? Yeah, we had to drive from Tolise, France, which is where we picked up that damn okay. American hot dog, Oh, yes. to <laughs> Linz, Austria, <clears throat> which is like a 12 <clears throat> to 14 hour drive. In American, we're like, Piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> These fuckers got mountains and shit, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, totally, totally not, you know, just different. It's way different. Yeah. So don't do that. All right. Um, uh, so yeah, that was a clusterfuck. We had yeah. to spend the night in a truck stop, truck stop somewhere in France. And like, we had to put, we like tried to clear the back. So like Gabby and Cassie could lay down and I'm like laying on like the floor of the sprinter van and because the bench, it has like, the curve for your butt. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, this ain't gonna work. So I'm like trying to like lay on there, mm-hmm. and then the driver and a uh, tech and our, our merch person are in the front row. Like, just yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. So who's the who's the member of your band that can fall asleep fucking anywhere? Because everybody's Cassie. got one. Is it? Because yeah. yeah. Gene, bro, yeah, Gene Cassie, Tars. bro, like fu- so anywhere. fucking jealous. Yeah. Anywhere. Literally just, anywhere. Straight, in the weirdest, room, goddamn, in the, in the weirdest room. fucking yeah. positions, and then wake up just fine, raring to go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we slept on the worst place we slept was in fucking El Paso. This band trash bag let us crash at their place, but they like let us know they're like, man, it's like yeah, a clo- it's like a closet. There's no air conditioner. Wow. It's all hardwood <laughs> floors. Worst night's sleep. Gene ready to go. He can fucking fall asleep like this and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, so I feel like uh, just organizing a tour like where you're driving to a few states is 
yeah. is difficult. It's a lot of stuff that that you don't even think about. And so I can't even imagine like DIYing a uh, overseas tour. Um, that's like crazy impressive. I'm terrified uh, of flying, so that's gonna be uh, way difficult for us when we get there. <laughs> we'll take a boat. And I was gonna say, can we boat it? Like I'll boat that shit. Yeah, I hate fucking flying, but yeah. Yeah. Just, no, plus, I'm not drinking now, so I can't get like Pat Link. So it's all gonna be bad. You know, I'm just gonna be an accountant. I quit music. I don't mind flying. I I think planes are gross, though. Yeah. Like that's my biggest thing. Like, that's I'm not what scared that's of that, flying. You're, you're not like, scared of the, like, the fact like, that you're in clear defiance is, of God. <laughs> fucking go. Okay. It yeah. is smoother over the sea, though. Is it the ocean? Yeah. You yeah. don't feel anything. Yeah. You're not telling me. <laughs> you know. I telling. hate. I personally fucking hate flying. Yeah. So. So who's a uh, who's a band right like right now in the scene that you guys do like that you guys are fucking with like super heavy right now like uh, somebody some of you guys <laughs> dig right now that's huh. more of a local thing like I said we haven't played like now you guys have been on we tour have, we've been on tour for so long so we don't know if like people have broken up in bands anymore like all right so I have no idea. Uh, yeah I feel so the, a little disconnected so all right yeah. so just uh, we get this back the worst band in the scene is called Thrash Can uh, jot that down <laughs> yeah Thrash Can um, fuck Thrash Can this band called Squared close second. Um, <laughs> Absolutely fucking yeah. atrocious. Don't ever terrible. listen to them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who else is terrible? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's terrible. Except for Thrash. Uh, Let Me Downs are half from Tacoma, but they're practically from here. Uh, Did I? What well, that name sounds familiar? Sorry. I know. No. Yeah. They, like play here like, all okay. the yeah. they play here in Washington like all the time. Oh, that's do the asswipe junkies still play? Yes, yeah. they do. Yeah. They're gonna be okay. yeah. love those guys. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, those guys are cool. Yeah. Fucking, I just started. Yeah. They, their drummer fucking goes goes hard. Right. Like, mm -hmm. like we played a couple shows with him. I never, I haven't gotten to speak to him yet. But like, yeah, you guys are watching. Your drummer goes hard. Sorry, drummer, whose name I don't know, but you hit different. <laughs> and then Corky's, they still playing. Yeah. Corky's legend. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're dope we know as fuck. Those guys too. So. Yeah. yeah. We fuck with them. Fuck yeah. So yeah, Asswipe. I was yeah. actually I was just talking to them about because uh, them coming on here. So Asswipe's gonna come hang out. Good yeah. to know them. Like, yeah, Re Reason sure. Unknown is still a band, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Reason yeah, Unknown. Yeah. Reason Unknown. Yeah. yeah. No Aren't gimmick. We playing, are we playing a yeah, show no with? Gimmick, yeah. We're playing a show with Reason Unknown. Uh, Miles, to Miles to Nowhere. Miles to Nowhere. Miles to Nowhere. We just play. We play. We play with them mm -hmm. at the Gutter Mouth show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Miles to Nowhere is cool. Oh. I dig them. Didn't really get to talk to them much either. Yeah. Reason's a blast. Gotta have more people on. She is on fun. the podcast, like the podcast is where, mm -hmm. like, so like we we started this whole thing. This all started off with like the sessions, mm -hmm. and it's just an acoustic session. Cause you see that kind of stuff for like bigger bands and shit all the time. Like I thought it'd be super cool, like since we've got all the equipment and stuff like that, to have something like that where somebody sits down, and plays an acoustic song, and yeah. but it's not really about the song. It's about talking about like uh, it before that. But we started this whole podcast thing as a way to like try to get to like know the people yeah. in the scene and have people on here and talk and talk about shit. Um, the sessions were more musician centric. Mm -hmm. So we started the podcast so I could have people like every show Joe on. He's not in a band. Yeah. Or like I can have a sound guy on and come he can come tell you the do's and don'ts. Like don't fucking turn your amp up or he's going to stab you in the throat or some shit like yeah. that. So like all of this has been like a way to like just try to talk to people. I haven't gotten we haven't gotten, gotten enough bands to like make super good homies with everybody yet. But I feel like we're already are super good homies with everybody. I mean, like, yeah, every, like, yeah. I'm surprised at how many people like the podcast. Corey does not like the podcast. <laughs> Corey loves the podcast. He's so we've got we, so with Thrash Can the reason we keep talking shit about them. So we've got this yeah. this thing on Facebook, this <laughs> fake beef between our bands. So we're always talking shit about each other. Like, and we had them on the podcast last night. I see that. And uh, yeah. we had them on the we, we had them on the podcast last night. And Corey held true to that. Like, let's pretend oh, we hate each other. Shit. So he got drunk and just talked shit about us in the microphone. He had he had like two pages of notes, and he came in and, and just like ripped us apart for <laughs> yeah. an hour and then after the cameras go off i was like man you went kind of hard there like, <laughs> that's funny you were just him. kidding right like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i told him he was gonna cry like everybody comes over to my house and like ends up crying for some reason i've cried so many times yeah. if you guys need to cry see like steve this, yeah, like, this no, is a great place to cry it, you know? uh, bradley will come up and jump in your lap and give you snuggles <laughs> like whatever you need you know yeah, yeah. Uh, we got all your crying needs handled here at the ink box. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm like, yeah, dude, you're going to cry. I feel like it got close, but you know, it didn't happen. Tyler said we ended up hanging, yeah, hanging out for a few hours afterwards and drank way too fucking much. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the thing. We like uh, making homies with like all the, that way if we play a show with somebody, we've already got like a reporter like, yeah, so and fuck that. trash can, trash can, and fuck trash can. By the way, like <laughs> cut that whole me complimenting them, yeah. them thing out. That's but, just them. We don't have beef with you guys. Yeah. No, they do. <laughs> Once these cameras are up, bro. So uh, outside, like outside of music, you're running the uh, you're running like a, a whole merch merch business because mm -hmm. you actually did a thrash can shirt, which I'm disappointed in you for. But well, that was before I knew you. Yeah, uh, well, you know now. So 
No more thrash can merch, y'all. <laughs> yeah, Raw and Chaos merch. I've been doing that for like three years now. Yeah. Since uh, we started getting more busy touring, and I'm like, I kind of want to do that instead mm. of so. I don't know. Just YouTubed it, and here I am now with my own shop. So I don't know how I got this far, but it's working out. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I was, so I was seeing. Uh, I think it was Instagram, like your videos on Instagram, yeah. and you have like a pretty freaking serious setup. Yeah. There, that's I, awesome. I have no idea how it happened. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. like when you're touring, it, mm-hmm. do you yeah, have I somebody run it? Oh, you shut mm-hmm. down. Yeah. yeah. People, most people wait till I'm back from tour, which I'm so fucking grateful for. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I'm back for a while now. <laughs> yeah, so. no, we're, we're definitely going to go to you for our next. Yeah. yeah. We, I, so yeah, yeah, before our last merch run, we didn't know about, mm-hmm. I didn't know you guys, like, or you existed as, yeah. as that. Yeah. Yeah. You well, were think, just you were just some like ghost that everybody's like you gotta meet her. I was like, I will eventually. <laughs> who's I promise. Gabby? Yeah, yeah, who's Gabby? So there you go. Yeah, it's on camera. But and then do you have any like side hustles or anything that you do like while you're not on tour? Like, nah, bro. You just you're like nah. Dude, <laughs> no, I just real job. You're like I just I just chill. I just kick it, bro. <laughs> yeah, no. like we ball out here and then we go on tour. So how does that work when you're on like these long tours? <laughs> yeah. um, do you work remotely or I are they do. like oh yeah, no you can just. Yeah. 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 So I'm working my real job during the day, uh, remotely from the yeah. laptop, and then we get to the venue, and I'm in band mode. So right. my days are fucking long. I bet. And yeah. I'm very tired. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. That checks out. Yeah. Make- so I think that's mm-hmm. what, uh, another reason why I like don't really try to drink a lot on tour is because I'm like yeah, like yeah, you're so you bring, yeah. you uh, so are you like full remote like all the time even when you're here? Yeah. Yeah. So say, I work you, from home. You guys hiring? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to work there. So, oh no, fucking, <laughs> dude! My last job, I was I was in audio tech um, for pro productions, and that shit fucking like that didn't work out with being a single dad and like all that shit. Mm-hmm. Fucking because randomly they they just drop like, oh man, you got a twenty one hour shift. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing? Brutal. I had to work a twenty one hour shift one time specifically, and a lot of people don't get to say this because of fucking DJ Khaled. <laughs> fucking dude, straight up. Like I was supposed to be home by a certain time. Another one. And he and we were running audio for his thing at like a fucking golf course. And they're like, like all of his shit set up and like he wants to wait. He wants to go play a couple rounds of golf. Like I'm trying to go home, man. Like, <laughs> so I get to go home. It's like not a lot of people get to say that. Like I had to work late specifically because of yeah, DJ. Did you guys Kelly. like have to pull down an entire stage and then put it back up? Just yeah. The deep one. Oh yeah, fucking because he wanted to hit some balls, so we had to fucking oh, bring up no. that like it was like an SL150. Bring that shit up. Bring it back down. Yeah, that sounds shit. like some Adam Arachnid 40th birthday <clears throat> shit right there. Yeah, it, it does. Like next time, uh, next couple episodes, we'll have uh, some of the sound guys I used to work with. Come on, we can talk about like that kind of shit. Yeah, do we want to do uh, Adam Silent? Yeah. Well, so I'm gonna call Adam. Texted me and it just says so. So I'm assuming he wants us to call him. <laughs> well, go ahead, call, go ahead, call Adam. Adam was he was trying to be here like for this and shit, but uh, he can't like sit in the car or anything like his. Uh, it, it, like he can't like move his his fucking elbow from here to there, but we have a he came up with an Adams Island segment and cool. we have we haven't been doing it for the last two episodes because he wasn't on to honor him. Hello, <laughs> is that how you answer the phone? Hello, Adam. How are you? Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? You know I'm doing pretty good. Just hanging out. Um, I'm wishing you were sitting in my seat right now, honestly, because I hate being. Steve in sucks at this, bro. Like, like, I, we, like no we had to eke ourselves through so many episodes. <laughs> I like how you're I pretending that we didn't right. text about this before I called you, but okay, stick to the bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is, oh, what a surprise! <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't waiting <laughs> wow. by the phone. <laughs> but we've got the venomous pinks here. Well, hi, ladies. I'm sorry you have to deal with uh, Justin and Steve it, alone without me there to temper their bullshit we told them the story about your whole shoulder incident and how you're bravely bravely fighting through it yeah yeah i don't want to talk about it okay we won't we won't, we won't talk about that but i i miss you boo i miss you boo boo all right so uh so I we're gonna do too. uh we're gonna a, do adam's island you're gonna be here for adam's island adam's island you guys ready for the uh intro song here we go okay we'll let you know in a second. People need to stop giving us recording shit. Like, we record our own intros. Like, That's amazing. That's take amazing. that. Yeah, we write we're cat po- songs. We're pop yeah. punk. So. Fuck off. Yeah. But go ahead, Adam. You can you can describe you can the Adam's Island thing. Go for it, bro. Yeah, so everybody knows what a Desert Island album is. It's basically just we're, we're going to talk about what your Desert Island album is. You can only listen to one album for the rest of your life. The fuck is it? Hmm. All right, we're going to start off with Gabby. Fuck. I have to think of it my It cannot backlog. be a compilation. 
Or a greatest yeah, it has hit. to be mm. like an <laughs> intentional like album by the artist. Fuck. Which genre? Any genre. Anything, yeah. Like anything, yeah. I picked Ken, Kendrick Lamar last time. Fuck. Hmm. Yeah, if, if it's if it's not a, a punk rock album, that's like bonus points. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide which one I like better if I prefer Post Malone or Bad Bunny. <laughs> if you're an island. <laughs> huh. Nice. I got to think about this one. We can come back to you. Yeah, yeah we'll come, come back, back to you. I'm thinking. I, mean, I don't have one either. Right. You're asking two Libras and like, yeah. we're like, I don't know. I don't uh, know. We'll, 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 we'll start it off like this. Adam, no. since you are technically <laughs> on a fucking island right now, what album have you been listening to? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, mine are always so basic. My, my Desert Island albums are basically like looking at the fucking at wall at any hot topic. Uh, and especially true today. So today, my Desert Island album is going to be Dookie by Green Day. Mm. That's great. Because they just came out with the the 30th anniversary uh, vinyl today. Uh, and it's fucking sick. And there's a couple songs on there, Justin, that you should listen to if you haven't already that are like super dope. I know everything I've by released. Green Day. I've got like three Green Day tattoos, bro. Like I'm on that shit. I got four. <laughs> all right, all right. Damn. I've been, I'm sorry. I've been uh, out punked on my own podcast. Yeah, Justin got out Green Day. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird. Uh, I uh, would I'll, probably I'll, do. I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit because yeah. I feel like it's necessary with that one, especially like, um, and I don't give a fuck if it's like super basic and uh, uh, predictable because that album legit changed my life. It was fucking 1994. And I remember seeing the basket case video on fucking MTV. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck this is, but like, this is me mm-hmm. now. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Yeah. I have a dookie tattoo under my arm. Fuck yeah. Adam, you can't see it. I got the I got, I got the American Idiot tattoo when I was 15, and I thought I was the coolest yeah. kid in high school because I, I got yeah you know, I was the only kid with a tattoo yeah. in high school, and then I got in trouble, and my parents almost got in trouble. My first tattoo was 16, and I got the Adeline logo mm. that Billy Joe Armstrong oh, is nice. closing. Yeah, I don't know why my mom let me get it. I, I like you. Yeah, uh, but the album I just thought about it It'd probably be Blink 182, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. That album to me is fucking <laughs> incredible. Is, hell yeah! It's like so, three episodes ago, mine was Blink 182. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Same with Green Day. Like, I love Green Day more, but it's got to be playing. Dude, Gabby's my yeah. shit. She's just spouting fucking fire right now. I'm like, fucking like. Hey, I'm a pop punk kid at heart, so that's, yeah. People are right. I was, but I should have met Gabby uh, sooner. Aw, well, well, it's well, a match made in hell. Steve pushed the button. Dude, are we I, best like, friends now? I, yeah. I, <laughs> I can't do karate, but you want to go fucking track? <laughs> Hey, what, what do you got for your desert island? I ain't got nothing, man. Uh, we're we're going to dub in Screwdriver as your I know, you better not. Yeah. Yeah. You better you fucking not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I'm a Libra, man. That's a, that's a loaded question. You got to ask Libras like ahead of time. Yeah, we need okay. questions hey. before so we can come prepared. Right. Right. But I listen yeah. to a lot of different shit. Too, yeah. so. Let's see. Like, I can come up. So, uh, I don't know. Speaking of hot topic, I'm going to go with I already said Green Day. I'm going to go Palm Trees and Power Lines, fucking Sugar Colt. Mm. That's what I'm going with. Yeah. Sugar Colt's way fucking underrated, bro. Like, I, not enough people talk about how fucking fire Sugar Colt was. Like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. We met their guitar player. Did you? Yeah, yeah he was cool. Oh, he was yeah. like, you guys were good. I'm oh, like, yeah, fucking. Uh, Thank you. He came through. <laughs> he, was, he did a tour at the museum once, too. Fucking Marco. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, like, you don't know sugar. Listen, that's your assignment while you heal. Listen to the <laughs> sugar cult. Punk yeah, it'll it'll add yeah, oh, okay. add yeah. two two points to your healing stats. Yeah, bro. You you don't you know, you've heard memory, bro. <laughs> Shut up. You've heard memory. <laughs> All right. So I don't, uh, I don't. It doesn't ring any bell. We can't be friends anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm being shown their top tracks that, huh? on Spotify, and none of them are ringing bells. Man. Get on it tonight. Let's hear it. Aren't they that band that had that, like, I just want to fly? That's not. That's Get the. Sh- dude, bro. <laughs> yes. You're lucky you're hurt right them. now. That's, who is, was that? Sugar Ray? Sugar Ray. Yeah. Sugar Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Adam confuses Sugar Ray with Sugar Colt. Got it. And what, uh, you know, I didn't realize how much you guys needed me on this podcast until this moment. And you, have you not it's watched been, the other the past terrible, two episodes? Adam. Honestly, it's been terrible. <laughs> I don't want to be. Yeah, like you, yeah, you put like you put me to host on with like one of the most socially awkward people. I love Steve to death, but like I've never thought like, oh man, like fucking just yeah, Steve, amazing conversationalist. Like, Steve would be an amazing podcast host. Yeah. I don't think has ever come out of anybody's mouth ever. No, no, Steve, no joke. You did a great job on on the the one I saw. Don't say the name. I was gonna say like we've gotten two episodes without naming yeah, them. Yeah, we yeah. we are not mentioning that person. So, but yeah. uh, thank you, Adam. 
Thank you for just being nice. Who's your Who's your You're desert welcome. island album? My desert island island al- desert island album uh, would be. I mean, I have to choose a different one every week. Yeah, we have to. Cho- we have to choose a different one every time. <laughs> uh, we do. Yeah. Blowout comb, uh, diggable planets. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to. I don't know that one. He's, yeah, you're I don't schooling me. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Wow. That was you. A- you probably you could have just made something the fuck up, and all of us are just like, yeah, that's a band, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That's totally a band. <laughs> yeah. There's this band called Vert- band, Vertical yeah. Unicycle, bro. Like, yeah, fucking vertical check them out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. They. Uh, so like they're hip hop, um, and I feel like uh, they. That was the album that like got me interested in like listening to hip hop at all. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I'd always. It was just straight up punk all the time. And then that album came out. My friend was like super into it. And I was like, dude, this shit's fucking good. Mm-hmm. It's super good. Um, so yeah. I could, check it I, out. Could, I, could, I could survive on another album. Another album for Adam to listen to. Yeah. In all, in all reality, I miss you like a, like I miss you so much, Adam. Like I can't sleep. I, know. I can't, I can't I've eat. I've almost forgotten what your, I, I've almost forgotten <laughs> what your dick looks like. Justin. I, <laughs> I think you and I should get an apartment together. <laughs> When this is all over, <laughs> I miss your laugh. <laughs> oh, I promised I wouldn't cry. Yeah. <sighs> but we called you, got you on. Yeah. Can't do Adam's Island without Adam. But you, you doing all right, buddy? Do you, no. need, do you need us to come over and play some Mario Kart with you or something? We'll bring the the pinks. Yes. Do you guys play Mario Kart? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're all going to roll through Princess with some Peach. Nintendo We're going to roll through in a big ass bus. Not a bus. Not a bus. Oh, yeah. not a bus. We don't have a bus. <laughs> no, there is no bus. Yeah. No, there's not a bus. But if there was a I bus, that's what we would totally do. I, I will happily bury you all at Mario Kart anytime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on. There was some fucking <laughs> chest in that. Yeah. Ten toes in the ground instead of his whole chest. <laughs> I will equalize you. But, okay, damn. All right, buddy. We did your segment. Got all that. Uh, we'll give you a call. I'm going to let you go. Go heal up. Get some rest. I love you. Tell Callie yes, hi. Bye, Adam. Go better, dude. Bye, Venomous Pinks, ladies. Bye. See ya. So that was Adam. I miss him. Just, yeah, just his presence. Why like, don't you just, go visit him? Yeah. So, yeah, um, he's been, uh, <laughs> he's been like, uh, not able to, like, get out of bed and stuff. Mm. Like, oh, maybe he we didn't. Like, yeah, we did. So we did. And then <laughs> we had a thing where we were like, going to yeah. go again. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. Like, nah, like, don't we did, So we didn't realize, like, if, like that it was going to be that bad yeah. when we got back. Yeah. We, yeah. we thought we were just canceling the last couple of dates of the tour. Yeah. It turned out we had to cancel. We got, like, we had to cancel two months worth of shit, so. Uh, <clears throat> he didn't go to work for a while because he can't even like <clears throat> just sitting in a car and it rocking yeah. fucks him up. Fuck and he's not been in a mood to hang out with people. He just wants to lay around and play a switch. So yeah, I get it. Is that <clears throat> how far are we we on this? And I feel like we've been talking for a good while. Forty five minutes. Forty six minutes. Forty six minutes. Forty six minutes. So uh, what was the sketchiest place you guys have played over the last? Oh yeah, months? why didn't I ask that? Like I'm always into the yeah, yeah, like the place Ooh. where you went and you're like. Oh. oh god oh. yeah no we made a mistake <clears throat> what was that place called in albuquerque with the, albuquerque didn't have the sinks nope. <laughs> <laughs> bathrooms uh, what the fuck was that place called was we just played lounge? albuquerque last show on this run with Les and jake uh, ren's den ren's den <laughs> total diy mm. two bathrooms i guess there was two i only went in the one yeah the one bathroom no didn't sink. have a fucking sink nice. no toilet paper mm-hmm. um the stage was cinder box <laughs> And Hell just the plywood, oh, yeah, yeah, not secured. So like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, go ahead, Cassie, get yeah. up there. She's, oh, it's all you. <laughs> just playing still as fuck, like. Yeah. Well, yeah, like we were on the phone. Like I'm not, I'm not getting up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean that was sketchy, but yeah, I was thinking of we played in Michigan. Oh fuck. Uh, Detroit. <laughs> I love stories that start with oh fuck. Um, it was the. St. Andrews Hall. St. Andrews Hall, where Eminem got his start. Wow. Yeah. He I think Dylan has a song there. about the place. So the security guard, he's like, he tells our driver, he's like, hey, there's been like five shootings in this past week. Like, just be careful going out. And we're like, but it's, we want to go to Mom's Spaghetti. He's like, don't walk outside <laughs> at night. Wow. That, uh, cool. so that was that was sketchy, but yeah, we still got Detroit scared. was cool, though. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. The fucking awesome. crowd was amazing. Great crowd. But Detroit was rad. We just never had a security guard tell us, like, hey, like, you might get shot. Yeah, you might yeah, stay shot, over here. But, you know, if you like, open okay. the door, you'll die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Y'all better stay in that bus. <laughs> yeah. Van. Yeah. So you guys yeah, have yeah. two shows coming up that I'm, like, super stoked about. You guys are playing Yucca, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And you're playing Chopper John's. Fuck yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to that The first John's time I saw you guys it. play, um, it was a marquee show. And I'm like, like these fucking chicks yeah. are rad as fuck. Like, 
I think it was Pennywise, maybe. No. No. Uh, no, that this was will be that before was I was freaking, here. Um, the exploited. Exploited. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. like, I don't like exploited. Yeah. Um, and so, but I'm like, you know, like I'm like, you didn't even see like, like, you know, I want to, yeah. you know, I'll, like get out of the house. And so I went and like, yeah. you guys played. And I was like, fuck yes, like this is awesome. Fuck. And then I left after you guys were done. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I know, I got my fix. Like these, well, that this was is like fucking right. Pre our record, so like yeah. we're not those people anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you like those, then thank you. Yeah. you know? No, I know like the new stuff that you that you guys have come up with too. Um, but yeah. I'm I'm excited to see you guys at like I've never seen you play at a small venue. Oh, shit. Uh, oh yeah. really like have you like I've, and I've seen, seen you, you guys like yeah. well I guess the smallest would be um, that place in Scottsdale. Uh, don't look at me. I'm not pub probably, rock. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So I saw you guys at pub rock. So that's cool. like the smallest place. But uh, okay. but I'm excited to see you guys at like Chopper Shons. And especially. Chopper Someone Shons. always gets kicked out. And, yeah. Like there's always a fight. Yeah. yeah that Chopper Shons. Shons. That's I don't know how crazy. anybody like plays crazy. there. I saw one show at Chopper crazy. John's. Like I can't imagine like. The, they fit like 200 people in there. Yeah. yeah. Like I that, don't, it's it's a shit show. We love it. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. Like I saw one show there and the sound like it was so small. The sound wasn't like that great. I don't know if it was just a. It's not. It's just a place to play. It's not. Yeah. But yeah. the the first time I saw you guys, I actually so when I first when I first moved here, when I first started doing music, like everybody was like, uh, like, oh, you gotta meet uh, Gabby, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to like do music for that. But the first time I actually saw you was mm -hmm. when the fuck did we go? It was a uh, Punk and Drublick. Oh, saw you guys at oh, Punk yeah, yeah. and Drublick at like three thirty or something oh, like that. So thanks for playing my birthday show, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> and then fucking, I remember because a lot of people were like talking about like, oh, like Venice Pink, you gotta meet him, gotta meet him, and then. Um, I said, um, when I went to go hang out with Agatha at the museum one time and um, we're up there and she was working. So I was trying to kill time. So I was up in like that, the, uh, the instrument room mm -hmm. and the, the dude's like, hey, can I give you the whole spiel about all the instruments here? I was like, no, nah, I'm just waiting for someone to get off work. And then he looks super sad. So, <laughs> so I was like, I was like, go ahead, go ahead. Like he loved his job. So yeah. I let him give him the rundown. And at the end, he's like, this one, this one will shock you. He's like, this is the. This is the uh, uh, Gabby's bass from Venomous Pinks, and, and I was like, "You have no idea how much that doesn't shock me." I hear that name like all the time. It was like like four people a day like are fucking telling me I gotta meet this person, and now some random person in Vegas is saying it too. So. Yeah, that's just normal. Yeah. Now here we are. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> she likes Green Day over Blink One Eighty Two, which is you know fucking facts. Sorry. Yeah, that, that wasn't yeah. expecting that. Yeah. So yeah, that was I got good info. so many Green Day. If I get shit for like, yeah. cause I like I play in Birth Birth of Monsters, which is more yeah. like that like punk ish, and like I've got the other people in the band yeah. give me shit for like they're like, man, I fucking love emo music. I fucking yeah. love punk. His I fucking yeah. love ska. I love such. Yeah, I think I have almost as many Alkaline Trio tattoos too, but not oh, as many nice. as Green Day ones. So that's amazing. Yeah. All right. So, so what else? Like what, what else? What else we got? We get to talk to them. Yeah. You guys. Uh, I've sent, so I spent the week like watching you guys in music videos and shit like mm -hmm. that. Like uh, they're they're pretty dope. You guys got any new? cool shit like that coming out any yeah, you guys projects any that aren't necessarily just playing shows yeah we have another yeah. music video that's going to be coming out at some point it's a us and aliens so it should be fun yeah. nice mm. the last two music videos were kind of serious serious mm -hmm. topics so aliens aliens yeah they're like real <laughs> so let's do this yeah <laughs> so do you guys do you guys have a uh like go-to um person for uh like videography and stuff we have for this past yeah. like maybe do you, five six. Do videos. you like direct the music videos? No. Or or they, you they, get somebody they like they okay, what, okay. Yeah, we gotta get so, some yeah. else, or else you'll end up like a, with a music video for stupid shit. So you'll yeah. remember. Yeah. I still talk shit about that. Yeah, <laughs> We've got okay. two music videos. Steve came up with the uh -huh. idea for the second one, and it's literally just me walking down an alleyway. It's a single shot. It's nobody it's else good. in the band, <laughs> and he it's loves good. it. Just you. I do he love it. He fucking loves it. But like two, I've been told by like two, three different people, they're like, man, you just look like Machine Gun Kelly in that video. I was like, fuck that. <laughs> like, fuck <laughs> All right, so uh, so you guys toured with a band that recently stopped mm. being a band. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Save the had, juicy stuff for the ooh. end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what I want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So how'd that go? I mean... Um, the tour itself was a fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, Bouncing Souls... Oh, fucking amazing people yeah. to work with and one of our favorite bands that influences our band. Um, so yeah. just to be playing with them and hanging out with them and like for real is just a yeah. dream come true. Mm -hmm. And then the other band at, you know, at the time 
we're fucking fans of the, of, yeah. of them too, and they're they're all amazing to us. And to me, I grew up with anti flag, mm, you know, and Chris, we, you know, so it was it was just terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we never saw like whenever they was never weird to us. Right. Like we never mm. never saw anything weird or anything like that on when behind the scenes. Ironically, he was the one that like hung out the most out of that band too. Yeah. So yeah. like he would like just talk our ears off and to the point where he was like, let me produce your next album. And we we're like, holy yeah. shit, like we should fucking have him do it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Back yeah. to the drawing board on that one. Yeah. I, I feel like a ton of people felt like incredibly betrayed. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I that. cried like yeah, it, when yeah. I found out, I'm just like bawling my eyes up for like two days. I was, was a just, like, huge anti-flag. Yeah. And I've probably yeah. seen Anti Flag more than any other band mm. live. He's got a um, tattoo. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. I got a little fucking gun star to do something yeah. with now. I almost got that one when I was Did younger, you? but somehow I didn't. <laughs> yeah, we were just in shock. We were the yeah. same too, like with everybody else, just in denial, uh, denial, and then like, because yeah. you know we we helped, we hung out with them, and like I said, it was just a shock. So for it was like yeah. wolf in sheep's clothing when everything started to come out. And it was like. Mm. Jesus Christ, like you really don't know who the fuck you're meeting yeah. on yeah. these like bigger tours and like yeah. yeah, and then that fucking podcast came out I'm like <sighs> Yeah, it was gross. Yeah. 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 And like it, it could have been any other band, I right? And thing, I, yeah. I think, you know, like the shock would still be, you know what I mean? Like right. all sorts of bands yeah. would be shocking, right? But like that band in particular, yeah. it's like like When you specifically really market yourself fuck, as a place that's you know? like specifically safe from right. that, like fucking <laughs> like if, like if that's like if that's the actual message you do, it's a little. Tissues. It, you're at you're at the, it's the a, cry shack apparently. It's a little bit grosser. Yeah, I'll cry yeah. with you. Yeah, but it doesn't. It can be about anything. We can just cry. like if you guys ever just want to like you're like man, I just feel like crying today. Please come over. Yeah, we'll fight. We'll, we'll, that's why we'll, I have my shop. Them. That's right. Yeah, you just go <laughs> cry, cry in the shop. Yeah, yeah. And uh, somebody told me, I don't know who told me, you guys were doing something with the bomb pops. Who are you now? talking to? I don't know. Who did you get that from? <laughs> Fuck whoever fed me what that. What the hell? <clears throat> the bomb pops. Who said that? What? Was Ish? it you? Are we? Remington. Yeah. Huh. Who, you guys have been doing a lot that. of stuff. Like, uh, <laughs> Literally nobody knows about that. You, who did you talk to? You talk to me. Who did you talk to? I don't know now. Somebody, what do you know? Yeah, somebody, we know. Somebody, like, I don't know. So I like... We so literally don't know. I don't think... You guys should just go ahead and spill the beans now. She's not in the band anymore, but I was cool with Polly back in the day. Oh, cool. So, um, yeah, because back, back the band I played in in California, I played mm -hmm. in with my wife and she played until she was seven months pregnant and then Polly had Adler. So, uh, we got mm -hmm. close over that. She was like oh, talking cool. to my wife cool. about like playing music and that kind of stuff. I'm sorry if I've been talking to somebody I shouldn't have been talking to. <laughs> no, I mean, we're not, <laughs> no, we don't have we don't, anything coming no. up with the bomb pups, but we're going to be working with Remington who played. filled in after Polly left the band. Yeah. Um, okay. But she's just going to be. Driving and teching for us, so that was like I don't think anybody knows this. Yeah, like, like what? Did what did you talk to? The Remington tell someone? <laughs> Shout out, Polly. Unless love we you. just told on yeah. ourselves, but yeah, no. <laughs> so I was like, who's listening to our conversation? Yeah, <laughs> just, <I'm>, Justin. <laughs> dude, yeah, just, dude, as soon as you did that, like my mind went white yeah. on who told me that. I was like, did, did I dream that? Did I? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, and you guys have been doing a bunch of stuff uh, with Bad Cop, Bad Cop, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, those are uh, our, our homegirls. Yeah. They're dope yeah, as fuck. They, San Pedro. So yeah. They're wild. Like, Dude, they're, they they're outparty wild. us, man. Yeah. yeah. They fucking outparty us. Yeah. My kids are older us, and like you just run laps around us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. But they're fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. Those are our buddies. Yeah. I fucking love Bad Cop, Bad Cop. Yeah, they're one of my favorite yeah. bands. Then for oh, let's see if they like like one day we'll bring we'll we'll bring the Scooty Boys out and we'll see how the venomous pink who the can actually boys. who can out party yeah. who <laughs> right we're gonna bring yeah, the did you do you hear out. that story because I know like because I sent I was talking to Gabby and we were just drunk uh, you guys were playing the Mohawk and I was like mm -hmm. oh we'll just like wait to see when you guys are done playing we'll hang with you guys right so I was messaging Gabby so I sent her a message and it was a picture of us on scooters <laughs> and I, and it just said it was like never mind we found something to do an hour later. She gets a picture of us in, I sent her a picture of us in urgent care, and I was like, I should have just waited and hung out with you. What, else, what do we have? Yeah. We'll see you at Yucca, August so 21st for Lisa's birthday. Oh, yeah. oh, October. August October? <laughs> so see, I told year, you, I'm touring you. In like, one year, we're going to see Time does at, not exist. October 21st. Time is linear. That's a quick plug, bro. Uh, her then birthday is on October 16th. Mine's the 19th, and Lisa's is... Mine, mine's October 21st. 29th. Libra. Oh, is that Libra? No, nah, I'm Scorpio. Scorpio. 
Uh oh. Mm. You're spicy, huh? Spicy. I've been like you get all jealous I, and shit, huh? I don't know, but I did. I, <laughs> I did have a girl straight up tell me she won't oh. date me because of it, and I was like, oh, well, yeah. like I'm fucked from what Same. is somebody calls it space racism, like <laughs> astrology. They're like, they're, like fucking like space racism. Yeah, like fucking. I don't know who that called it. That. Yeah, it's awesome. You're straight up like yeah. talk to a girl for five minutes. She's like, you're a Scorpio. It's like, nah. I was like, I, <laughs> don't fuck I, with that. Okay, never yeah. mind. No Scorpios, no Gemini's. Yeah, sorry, we don't fuck with Gemini's. You don't, fuck, you don't, you don't fuck with Scorpio. Can we be friends? Does yeah, the, we can be friends. Yeah, I was like, does yeah. the star say like we can? Yeah, we can I have some friends. Scorpio in me. So. Oh shit! And you got Gemini on you too. Though. Yeah, I do. Like, how does how does that work? How do you have it's Scorpio like the, in you? Like, it's like the time and date you're born, and like there's a rising, a moon, and something else. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm I'm Libra mainly, Scorpio and Aquarius. I was gonna say, so, is it like my grandpa yeah, was Scorpio, so I'm a quarter Scorpio? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> then you're Libra. It's all on your chart. Yeah, yeah. the rising moon, rising Down sun, yeah. moon. <laughs> it's all yeah. yeah, yeah. It's all a chart thing. Um, we have a upcoming upcoming tour, mm-hmm. November. We're doing a lot of Texas dates with Dead Kennedys and the Queers, and then in December we're playing with Betty Blowtorch. At Chopper John's and in Tucson, so that'd be oh, good. Yeah. And that's it. And in between that, we got to start writing our next record. So <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, writing. We gotta get. On, we should get on <laughs> yeah. that. We got nothing better to do. We, yeah, we have like fourteen that yeah. are like ninety percent done. So let's just finish them. Yeah, we'll do that. But that's that. We got to hang out with the, the Pinks. They're they're pretty rad. Everybody else suggesting them. They're dope. And if you haven't checked them out, check them out. But I'm pretty sure anybody watching this already already has. <laughs> but that's that. Steve, you got anything you want to close out on? No. Much love to Andy for being our behind the scenes cameraman and Anne for just Andy. being Anne. We're gonna end the podcast now. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank yeah. you guys for coming through. Yeah. It's cool to, to hang with you and watch you sip on your white wine. What's up? Oh, we got it.